nine-day forecast so you'll know first this is first alert weather well rainy day today could be a stormy day tomorrow that's right so we have uh, one system that's lifting through currently and that's why it's been kind of just a cloudy drizzly day and then tomorrow there's a stronger storm system off to the west and that'll bring us the chances of seeing some thunderstorms and even severe weather and i'm going to show you that on future scan right now we're cloudy as we look towards the west i just have to run the wipers on the camera here because We've been in and out of that rain. 69 degrees our temperature. There's that east southeast wind at 15 miles an hour, so it is a little breezy. Here's live radar getting in those fast updates with our live radar, and we're seeing showers from near Warsaw, Clinton, Warrensburg, Marshall, Odessa, up towards Chillicothe, Trenton, Cameron, Maryville. None of this is severe, just plain rain. Even these lightning strikes that are showing up, it's actually seeing those from thunderstorms up in Nebraska. So we just have showers overhead right now. This rain will continue lifting northward as we go through the next several hours into the evening. That rain, especially if you're under one of those showers, is keeping your temperatures in the 60s. 69 for Kansas City, Leavenworth at 68, Liberty 69 for you, 75 for Paola, 78 degrees in Garnett, 70 in Maryville. So again, depends on where you are. And if you're seeing that rain, if you're drier, you're a little bit warmer. For the evening, off and on light showers. So if you do have evening plans, take an umbrella to be on the safe side. Temperatures will hang out in the mid to upper 60s here through the evening. Other than that, we're relatively quiet. Here's future scan. It's showing those off and off light showers between now and midnight. Then overnight, we'll actually see the remnants of some storms to our west, and those will roll in during the overnight hours. Some more of that lingering rain through the morning tomorrow, kind of like we've had for much of today. That'll linger through the morning. But as we head through the afternoon on Friday, those clouds will lift up to the north. I think we'll see some sunshine and our temperatures will heat back up into the 80s. So your 12 hour forecast for tomorrow, chances of showers in the morning, then we'll get some clearing for the afternoon. We'll warm things back up into those mid 80s. And then as we head into the evening, there's that next weather impact. We'll be monitoring for chances of thunderstorms. And if those storms can fire, there will be a risk for severe weather. So I want to make sure you're aware of that. Speaking of which, here it is, the area in yellow. So really most of the region, especially the metro and to the north, possibility of severe weather 7 o'clock in the evening tomorrow through about 11 p.m. And what we're going to be watching for potentially, especially when those storms initially fire, could be some damaging wind, large hail and the tornado threat. It's a lower threat, but a tornado or two is certainly a possibility. Here's future scan 6 o'clock in the evening tomorrow, but then watch as we head towards about 7 or 8. A line of thunderstorms will try to develop. That's 9 p.m. This will continue to about 11 or midnight and then those storms will start to lose some of their strength. So if you haven't done it yet, make sure you download our KBC on News app. That way you can get those alerts. You can get radar on the go. Impact day tomorrow because of that severe risk and because of those thunderstorms. Saturday and Sunday, chances of storms each day. I don't think it's a washout, but just keep that in mind, especially on Mother's Day if you have outdoor plans. 81 for a high, cooler and drier after that. 74 on Monday, 79 on Tuesday. We're back in the low 80s by late next week.